Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friends and today we're going to show you how to make your own homemade butter. We're going to start out with two pints of heavy whipping cream. This costs like $2.79 a pint. So, you can tell it's fresh. I don't have a... And, uh, we found out from a friend of ours, Rob Lynch, he works over in Harrisonburg and they got some kind of a nurse some kind of dairy over there that sells heavy whipping cream so he's going to check on that and we're going to see how much it costs this costs like $2.79 a pint and we're going to get about a pound of butter out of it plus some buttermilk we're going to make buttermilk biscuits with the buttermilk Okay, now you're going to start out on low. And this whole process is going to take about 20 minutes. So we're going to let it mix for a while and then we'll be back and show you how it keeps on going. Okay, it's been about 6 minutes now. And now you can see we're getting ready to start turning into a, a whipped cream. So then, I mean, they take, this is really neat when it gets to the end, and we just don't want to keep boring you with watching this whole thing stir. If you want to try this at home with your children, when we were growing up, we, we, we had a cow. We'd skim the cream off the top of the milk after you milked the cow. We actually put it in a jar and shook it in a gallon jar to make our butter to separate. And if you want to do something neat with your children to teach them how to make butter, get you a quart jar, Put you some heavy whipping cream in it, let them sit down and start shaking it. And it'll make the prettiest butter and they'll be tickled to death doing it. So this, this is going to keep going and you're going to really see it's fascinating. And you know we like homemade stuff better than anything that you buy in the store, but we had to buy the whipping cream. But if we find that dairy, and I got a feeling that a lot of these places all over the United States and probably all over the world, that has because you always have these little homesteads that make their own homemade stuff and they sell the cream, the heavy cream and stuff in the milk. So we're going to let this keep going. You see right now, we turned it into a pretty nice whipped cream. And we're going to come back in about five minutes or less and show you. We've turned it up now to about a five. We get a lot of sloppage when you get it going too fast. You can do this in a food processor, uh, no, a blender. A gallon jar, half a gallon jar. So we're going to speed it up just a little bit more. As long as we don't get anything flopping out on the counter and hitting you in the eye. So we'll be back and go. Oh yeah, we turned this nice whipped cream down. So we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, machine's running, so it's hard to hear me. It's turning into a nice whipped cream. We're going to turn it off. We're going to break, wipe the sides down. You can see it's starting to change color a little bit. And if you ever make your own homemade butter, you're going to go, wow. Why didn't I do this before? Getting nice and thick. So we're going to have butter here in just a few minutes. And when it starts changing, you're going to be really fascinated at what it does. Because it is really neat to see it separate. Okay, we're going to crank it back up and we'll be back in just a little bit. been 12 minutes you can see now it's starting to change colors getting a nice thick texture to it look at it rolling over you probably put that on a piece of toast right now or biscuit well what's going to be neat is hopefully tomorrow if we don't do it this evening we got a friend coming up that's got a dynamite buttermilk biscuit video I mean a recipe and we're going to do a video on that now we're going to turn it back to high and you see it's starting to separate some a little bit like I said the color changes is good getting a good texture so it shouldn't be much longer so now it's probably been about 13 minutes so we're going to have butter in just a minute okay now we're going to show you it's starting to separate and we, we're going to be making butter here. I mean, like it's going to be getting thicker and thicker. So you, it, it starts getting real sloppy. So we're going to lay a uh, 
a tea, uh, tea towel over it and crank it up so it won't flop out. And let it beat that way for about probably a, uh, two minutes. You got it going high. Don't forget to try this with your children with a, with a jar with some heavy whipping cream. They would get a big kick out of it and it keep them busy too. And then we're going to add some. We're going to add some salt in just a second. I don't like a lot of salt, so I'm only going to add a half of a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt. If you don't have sea salt, any salt to do. And we like sea salt. So we'll keep in here. We're just flopping good. So I'm going to turn. Okay, we're going to add our sea salt. And it's starting to flop good now. You can see it's separating. So that's what we're doing is making our butter, and all that butter is going to wind up staying in that little mixing thing right there. So I'm going to crank it back up on high and put our tea towel over it and let her beat for a minute. Okay, we had right so much sloppage that time with the buttermilk going everywhere. And Marcia got a little excited on me. Now we're going to get this out. And you can see that's a nice, nice butter. Yeah. Mm, I just made more of a mess. So I'm going to take my fingers and dig it out. Mm. And you always start out with cold whipping cream. We're going to dig this out. Looks like it might be an easier way of that, but this is how you do it. And I tell you, anything that you make homemade is better than what you buy in the store. We think so. And if you find your local dairy that you can get you some heavy whipping cream from, that'd be really good. Now this, this butter, you have to keep it in the uh, refrigerator because it, it, it won't it might spoil on you so now I'm gonna take my hand and get me a nice wide of butter okay now I'm gonna go over here to the sink and I'm gonna run cold water and squeeze it. But the way this mixed up, this is going to be in pretty good shape. This is about a pound of butter. So we got that. And we got our buttermilk. Okay, so you get a pint of butter, pint of buttermilk, and then you get a pound of butter. So that was two pints of heavy whipping cream. So it's, it's a, you don't waste anything. So hopefully tomorrow we're gonna be making buttermilk biscuits with this buttermilk. So we'll show you that and enjoy our videos. Subscribe to us if you like us. Uh, until next time, and if you have any questions, email us at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you.